Sometimes the fix can be as simple as using a few household items, such as sandpaper, around 150 to 160 grit, rubbing alcohol, and a rag. To get started, you're going to want to flip your bike upside down, just for ease of use. And then after that, you're going to want to take out whichever wheel and disc you want to be cleaning and making better for stopping. For me, that's my back, but I'm also going to do the front just because. One important thing is always to have a place to put your parts when they're off your bike. Some bikes come with a clutch, which is this little plastic switch here to keep your derailleur hanger from moving when you're riding. You want to turn that off so you can move it, and then push this back so you can just take off your back wheel like that. And this is really just so you can reach your rotor easier. Um, you don't really have to take off your back wheel, I just think it's a little bit easier to do it this way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sandpaper and this is going to be terrible, but it's, it'll work, I promise. You're just going to pinch it around. And kind of just drag it around the rotor. This will give your uh, brake pad something to grip to instead of just slipping off a polished rotor, which can happen when you're just pressing your brakes too hard. Once you've worked your way around with the sandpaper, it's time to get out the rubbing alcohol, and you're just going to put a little bit on your rag, and this is just to clean off the rotor. You don't want to touch it with your fingers at all, because that can get your fingers oils and dirt on it, and that's just not good for your stopping power. So it's just going to be the same process for your front wheel, even easier because your front wheel should be easier to take off with some sort of quick release. Um, now I'm going to show you the impact that made with just like five minutes of work. I had to move my camera because it started sprinkling, so this shot isn't exactly the same as the test in the beginning, but I hope you can still see the difference in distance. The first shot, I couldn't even stop in frame. So, hopefully that changes. So, in short, that did stop my bike about twice as quick as it did in the previous test. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't nearly as good as it could have been. But for five minutes and zero dollars, it's pretty good. And instead of having to pay a bike shop for new brake pads or buy them yourself and install them, this is just much cheaper and it gets you a decent result if you need it on the fly. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video.